Hello everyone, welcome back to MLT MCQ and Notes. In this video, I am discussing about important multiple choice questions from parasitology. First question, infective form of endamoeba histolytica. Option A, trophozoite. Option B, uninucleated cyst. Option C, quadrinucleated cyst. Option D, binucleated cyst. The answer is option C, quadrinucleated cyst. The trophozoite is an invasive stage of endamoeba histolytica. And the important point is trophozoite is the only form seen in tissue. And initially cyst is uninucleated. After binary fission it become binucleated and then quadrinucleated. The mature cyst that is quadrinucleated cyst survive 3 to 4 months outside the host body after desiccation. Second question is which of the following has intermediate host is human? Which of the following has intermediate host is human? Option A. Babesia. Option B. Tinea solium. Option C. Trichinella spiralis. Option D. Drachengulus medinensis. And the answer is option A. Babesia. What is the difference between intermediate host and definitive host? The in definitive host, the sexual cycle takes place. In intermediate host, a sexual cycle takes place. In the case of Babesia, the human is the intermediate host and tick is the definitive host. Uh, in Tinea solium, the intermediate host is pig in, and uh, Trichinella spiralis, intermediate host also pig. And Drachengulus medinensis cyclops is the intermediate host. Next question. Morris dot in red blood cells are seen in infection with Option A. Plasmodium vivax. Option B. Plasmodium falciparum. Option C. Plasmodium ovale. Option D. Plasmodium malariae. Morris dot is a sac like structures in the cytosol of RBC. Visible as blue dot in Jameson stained blood smear. It is seen in Plasmodium falciparum. Plasmodium falciparum causes severe malaria. In gametos its gametocyte is crescent shaped. It's an important question. Uh, crescent shaped gamet crescent shaped gametocyte seen in Plasmodium falciparum. The next question is, which of the following parasite can enter through intact skin? Option A. Trichinella. Option B. Pinworm. Option C. Toxoplasma. Option D. Strongyloids. And the answer is Option D. Strongyloids. In the case of Strongyloids, the infection in human occurs via penetration of larvae through the skin due to walking or working with bare foot in places contaminated by human feces. Uh, the, the options, option A, Trichinella, the disease that people can get by eating raw or undercooked meat. And pinworm, that is androbius vermicularis, uh, the disease get by fecal oral route. And toxoplasma, Toxoplasma infection can be transmitted to humans by three principal routes. First one, ingestion of raw or inadequately cooked meat. Second one, exposure from infected cat feces. Third one, during blood transfusion or organ transplantation or mother to child transmission during pregnancy. And the fifth question is infective form of malarial parasite. Option A sporozoid, option B gametocyte, option C merozoid, option D trophozoid. The answer is option A sporozoid. A malaria infected female anophilus mosquito inoculate sporozoid into the human. 
sporozoid infect liver cells inside the liver cells they absorb nutrients and become trophozoite then it transform into dividing form schizont it undergoes multiple fission and forms merozoite the liver cells ruptures and releases the merozoites they enters into rpc and several merozoite transform to sexual forms called gametocyte the next question is sixth question largest trematode option a ascaris lumbricoides option b tenia soleum option c trichinella spiralis option d fasciolopsis buski the answer is fasciolopsis buski uh, in parasitology we should note Uh, the largest and smallest parasites some examples are here largest human intestinal nematode that is ascaris lumbricoides largest parasite that is ascaris lumbricoides smallest nematode trichinella spiralis largest trematode fasciolopsis buski largest protozoan parasite balandidium coli largest cystodes found in human intestine that is diphylobothrium latum smallest tapeworm hymenolopis nana the next question seventh question more than two hosts are required in all except Option A, Fasciola Hepatica. Option B, Diphylobothrium Latum. Option C, Endemiba Histolytica. Option D, Paragonimus Westermani. And the answer is Option C, Endemiba Histolytica. Endemiba Histolytica predominantly found in primates, including humans and occasionally in dogs, cats, cattle and pigs. It is Uh, monogenetic monogenetic means its life cycle is completed only in one host the next question eighth question largest protozoan is option a e coli e coli means endemiba coli option b balandidium coli option c plasmodium option d and amoeba histolytica the answer is option b balandidium coli in balandidium coli the size of trophozoite is 40 micrometer to 200 micrometer balandidium coli is the only ciliate that infect humans Ninth question: Acute meningoencephalitis is caused by option A, nagleria; option B, candamoeba; option C, banamotia; option D, meningococcus. It is very important question. It was this year MSc MLT question. The answer is option A, nagleria. Nagle nagleria fulvari is the causative agent of acute meningoencephalitis it is also called brain eating amoeba and acanthamoeba and balamothia causes granulomatous amoebic encephalitis balamothia is uh, rarely cause but it will be severe and meningococcus that is neisseria meningitis which causes which uh, cause meningitis it is a confusing question 10th question aspondia is a condition seen in option a filaria option b cystokosis option c malaria option d mucocutaneous leishmaniasis and the answer is mucocutaneous leishmaniasis there are three main forms of leishmaniasis visceral that is callaser which is most serious and cutaneous that is most common and mucocutaneous visceral cutaneous and mucocutaneous 
the vector is sand fly the aspundia which is caused by leishmania brasiliensis that affect the mucous membrane particularly of the nose and mouth resulting in grossly destructive changes moving to option filaria we know cystocosis chlamydia cystase causes cystocosis Eleventh question: Redwood bug is a vector for transmission of option A, scrub typhus; option B, relapsing fever; option C, Chagas disease; option D, Lyme disease. The answer is option C, Chagas disease. And scrub typhus caused by Orientia susugamushi. Uh, the vector for transmission is larval mite and in the case of relapsing fever which is three types tick bone louse bone hard tick relapsing fever tick bone relapsing fever is caused by severe several species of borrelia several species of borrelia and louse bone relapsing fever is caused by borrelia recurrentis Uh, then the Lyme disease which is caused by Borrelia burgdorferi it is a tick bone disease a tick is the vector for transmission uh, and Chagas disease which is caused by Trypanosoma cruzi vector is redwood bug the next question Twelfth question: Which helm in this cylindrical, non-segmented worms that tapers at both end? Option A: Trametodes. Option B: Cestodes. Option C: Nematodes. Option D: None of the above. The answer is option C: Nematodes. Trametodes are dorsoventrally flattened and leaf-like in shape. Example fasciola hepatica, paragonimus westermani, fasciolopsis buscae. And cystodes are commonly called terpworms. They have a tape like and segmented body. Example tenia solium, tenia saginata, and diphylobotrium latum. Nematodes are cylindrical non segmented worms that terpose at both ends. And examples are Ascaris lambricodes, Enrobius vermicularis, Trichuris trichuda. Part 2 will come soon. Thank you. Subscribe for more videos.